Ladies and gentlemen, g'day, g'day, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Economics Mate, and welcome back to another video here in World of Tanks Blitz, and of course, talking about update 11.3. Boy, oh boy, are there so many things that are coming in this update and have come in this update. So without further ado, let's get right into it and talk about 10 versus 10 battles. It has been confirmed by Wargaming in yesterday's video on their official YouTube channel that in fact, 10 versus 10 battles are going to be coming to Blitz. From October 26th to, uh, sorry, from September 26th to October the 6th, we are going to be experiencing 10 versus 10 battle game mode, which is awesome to see. It's going to be a fun game mode, obviously. Uh, it's not going to be in regular battles. Uh, and think of it like this. Wargaming is testing this out. If it's successful, and if a 10 versus 10 mode is viable for the foreseeable future for some of the bigger maps, we're going to see it come back to Blitz. So consider this a trial period for Wargaming to see how well or how bad uh, the player base is going to perceive uh, or receive rather this new game mode. So what, are we, what can we expect in this game mode? Well Wargaming hasn't really released much in terms of what it is and how it plays but again it's just a fun game mode 10 versus 10. You will be getting some rewards uh, if you play this game mode uh, and you will yeah, I mean, it's you know, the usual rewards with boosters and certificates and whatnot and some interesting crates, I'm assuming, for this, the next, the upcoming Halloween event, which is going to be happening in October. So it's going to be exciting to see what new tanks have been arriving. So, yeah, just an interesting all-rounder. I think in terms of 10 versus 10, it's been a topic that has been on the horizon for a very, very long time. Many, many players have asked Wargaming, hey, have you... Ever, are you ever going to actually introduce a game mode where there's more than seven tanks on either side? And the usual response has been, no. <laughs> um, it's been no. And the reason for that is because they, they basically said, well, if you want to play more, you know, if you want to play against more players, just go play World of Tanks PC. You'd have 15 versus 15. And the tank battles are, are longer and they're more you know, skill base in the maps are a lot bigger than they are in, in Blitz, and fair enough, it makes a very good point. But now that we have this 10 versus 10 game mode, it's going to give us a very good indication of how basically the player base is going to perform on a specific map. I think what they're going to do is they're only going to send you out 10 versus 10 in bigger maps, like New Bay and whatever, and then that's how they're going to go with it. They're not going to you know, take it to Mines, for instance, or like Copperfield, where like really small maps, because then it, you're just going to spot each other a lot quicker, and then it's going to be over a lot faster than you might think. So it's an interesting perspective. It's an interesting um, way to look at it. It's very, very interesting to see what's going to happen, and how it's going to be perceived, and how the player base are going to enjoy it or not, and the feedback that Wargaming is going to get from not only the CCs, but other content creators like myself, and from just the general public and uh, you know and just the general player base to see whether or not they like it or not and i'm sure wargaming is going to bring it back who knows whether it's going to be a permanent mode and that you can jump in if you really want to but then if it's permanent people are going to just be playing 10 versus 10 and not the regular battles or you know uh ratings so who knows we'll see what it happens if you guys are old enough in terms of you know playing the game you know if you're old enough to remember when the game was in its younger years there used to be a glitch in the matchmaking when the newer matchmaking was released many years ago. And what happened was, interestingly enough, it actually set people into battles where there was like five players on the enemy team and seven players on your team. Or there were nine players on your team and six players on the enemy team. Or there was eight players on your team and seven players on the enemy team. It was ridiculous. Like, we're having battles where there was three people in, in your team and there's five on the enemy team. Like, this was a legit thing. This was a glitch in the matchmaking. I'm not even joking when I say it is a glitch in the, <laughs> in the matchmaking. And it's, it's very interesting to see how Wargaming fixed that and address that issue pretty quickly because there was actually there was I'm not even joking when there were times where the matchmaker would glitch so much that your the whole enemy team would be AFK and so would you and so would your team and you would be free to do what you want and you just go and destroy all the enemy teams and get like 10,000 damage 
and like seven kills. <laughs> so, yeah, interesting to see Wargaming implement this new mode. I'm curious to see how it's gonna hold up against the other modes and how we're gonna, you know, how everyone's gonna be and whether they're gonna enjoy it or not. But I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's been really cool to have. And yeah, guys, hope you liked this video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of 10 versus 10. Anyway, look after yourselves and stay safe on Z Battlefield. Cheers, fellas. Yeah, thank you all for watching and a massive, massive thank you for all subscribing. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.